Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Today I want to show you a smell and acuity eye chart and talk to you just a little bit about it. Before I do that, I want to tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You have two options. You can either click on the schedule a consultation or you can fill out a questionnaire to get some feedback about your vision. Now, let's talk about the Snellen Acuity eye chart. This really can instill fear in a lot of people whenever they go to the eye doctor. The fear that they might not perform very well, particularly if they have low vision or difficulty with their vision, like for patients who have maybe amblyopia, um, optic atrophy, nystagmus, strabismus, maybe even some other condition that I've not mentioned, like a retinitis pigmentosa. Okay, but it can really establish fear in the hearts of a lot of patients. Um, you know, what if they don't perform well? Well, I'm gonna kind of give you a couple of tricks and tips on ways that you can maybe start training your brain to see a little bit better. Now, of course, if you have a specific visual condition, you may need the help of professionals to help push you along in achieving what you're looking to do, but this is just a fast, quick tip. Now, you can download, this happens to be one that we send to our patients. It's got a little logo on it and everything um, with some instructions on how to utilize it. But this is something you can download off of the internet pretty easily. And one of the things that you wanna do is in order to kind of train yourself to have slightly better eyesight, if you're looking with just one eye at a time, let's say that you can easily read this line, L-P-E-D. But going farther than that might be kind of tricky. What you want to do though is you want to keep pushing yourself to see farther down the letter chart. So you would want to go lower and lower. Now the hard thing or tricky thing about that would be, well, so what if you are like, well, I got all of those and I got them accurate and correct. But if I go to this one, I miss almost all of them. Well, there's a way that you can do this. Again, this is my little quick tip. Don't tell anyone I'm sharing it, okay? But what you do is, let's say that you start reading the sign and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm doing awful. I'm missing everything on here. Um, F, B, O, mm, R, O, again. Okay, now what we do is in order to push you to see better, we can use what's called common confusions. Common confusions would be like, okay, I can make a case that a P could look like a, an F. It could look like an R. It could look like several different letters. Even someone could say a B. If they're having a lot of struggles with their vision, they may see different pieces kind of pop in and out as it goes blurry or fuzzy and clears up on them. So for them, it would be easy for them to say, okay, well, an E could look, it might be a C. A C could look like a G or an O or a D right? So a lot of these things can be confused for a different letter. If you allow yourself to say like, okay, hey, I got the 2050 line, even though I made some confusing things with the letters, I'm going to see if I can go even lower. And then you try to push yourself down to 2040. Hmm, what if you got one or two with common confusions like I showed you up here? Okay, well now you can go back up here and go, okay, L-P-E-D, that was easy. Now you might actually be able to read the line above that you had to you know, do okay with it because we allowed you those common confusions. But if you push yourself far enough down to the point where you're like, I can't do it anymore, it's just too hard. All right, then you might be able to come back up to that line that was a little challenging where we kind of gave you some gimmies and we said, okay, you got it right because you had some common confusions. Now you might be able to just zip off that whole line. So if you want to push yourself down the eye chart, push yourself to where you're like, I can't see it at all. There's nothing. It's just dots. It's awful. Okay. And then go back to the line that was like, eh, you can kind of see it, but you made some mistakes. That's one way that you can progressively try and shift your eyesight to be better and better. Now, again, you may need the help of a, a specific program like what we do in vision therapy with our Syntonics and vision therapy program. And that may be addressing something like um, amblyopia, optic atrophy, strabismus, um, nystagmus. 
So there's a lot of different conditions that we can help our patients to achieve better acuity or eyesight. So this is just a fast and easy tr um, trick. Maybe even you're trying to just reduce your lens prescription. So for myopia or stigmatism or hyperopia control. And you can use the same kind of a trick. But if you do need help, then you need to know how to connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. And you can do one of two things. Either click on the schedule a consult directly with me, or you can fill out a questionnaire. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. And make sure that you hit that all bell um, icon so that you get all of our videos. And as always, if you feel like it would benefit someone else, please pass it on. Thank you.